Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Games from Almost in Full Color. Today, I actually wanted to bring you uh, some pretty good news for Stadia people who also are iPhone users like myself. Uh, there has finally been a workaround put in place to where we can play Stadia on our iOS devices. Now, first of all, I wanted to make sure that everyone's aware I'm taking no credit for this. I did not create this app. I did not create the browser for this to be able to be done. Uh, all that credit actually goes to a guy named ZM Knox on Reddit, uh, part of the Stadia community. Uh, he put together a browser and uploaded it to the Apple App Store. It's free to download and it's super simple to get it up and running so that you can start playing Stadia on your iOS device as well. Um, just a note that this was made for iOS 14. This could work on older model. I mean, on older firmware. I'm not sure. I only have iOS 14 at this time, so I couldn't test it. But if you don't have iOS 14, if it doesn't work for you, then you will need to upgrade to iOS 14 and then it should work for you as well. Now, the app that you will need to download is called Stadium Full Screen Browser. Stadium, obviously a hint at Stadia. Uh, as you can see, it's I've already downloaded it, but it's a free download. Uh, and what you would actually do is you would go to your browser once you open up the app the stadium app uh, you hit these three buttons right here and you will go into page settings and then that is where you will put the URL for the stadia home uh, URL as where as well as the user agent string uh, both of those will be down in the description below so you can just copy paste those into that and once you do that you're almost all done you just hit done open it back up and then you go to the authenticate tab and that's where you will put in your Google account information that you use to access Stadia. And then after you do that, you might have to hit the go home. And once you go home, obviously the Stadia homepage will be the homepage for that browser. Um, myself, I actually use one of the PlayStation 4 DualShock controllers in order to play on this because obviously touchscreen you can't do. Uh, the Stadia controller at this time does not work with it, so you will need a PlayStation 4 DualShock or an Xbox One X controller if you want to do this. Other controllers might work, but I know those two work uh, at this time. So uh, without further ado, I guess I can give you a little test. Uh, as you can see, it's already synced, so we can kind of go through right now, but we'll play Destiny right here. Let's turn it so that I can actually see what's going on. And that's really it for setting it up. Uh, this part is really just to show you that it actually works. Um, as you can see, uh, all the button layout is pretty much more likely well more tied to the xbox controller so even though i have a playstation controller it's still going to say press a and uh press x and stuff like that which more ties to xbox other than playstation but if you have destiny on playstation it plays the exact same button layout wise so there really isn't any learning curve but we'll go here and as you can see this is me moving it But we'll go ahead, jump into a strike really quick. As you can see, it plays extremely smooth. Uh, there's no hiccups, anything like that. Now, granted, I do have a really good internet connection. Uh, I never really have any issues playing Stadia, whether it's on my laptop via the Google Chrome browser or my Google Ultra Chromecast. So. Take that with a grain of salt. I don't know what your connection is, but if you have a pretty good internet connection, I would assume you would get around the same style of gameplay or the same quality of gameplay. If you don't want to watch me play this, obviously you can just cut the video, but I just wanted to show a little bit of gameplay of how it looked. If anyone was wondering if it ran bad or something like that, we'll just do a little couple minutes, play through a little something, and then uh, that'll be it. Now, if you guys uh, like the video or like the tip here, uh, where am I going? Okay, 
this is kind of difficult doing this but uh please like and subscribe the video also please go to the link i linked the uh the reddit what you the reddit um ha this is not easy to play and do that at the same time but i linked the reddit thread in the description as well in case you wanted to join the stadia community or if you just wanted to go give kudos to uh zach knox for his good work on getting this to work on ios devices this is long overdue Oh wow, it is. All right, so we're gonna cut it right there. But like I said, as you can see, it uh, works really well. So if you were looking to play some Stadia on your iPhone or on your iPad, congratulations, the day has finally come.